This one particularly I like to show you that is uh, some edges is rough. So how am I going to uh, recycling, utilize? First of all, when you see this rough edge, go to the, the bottom, the, not, you know, the left side. So in other words, when I do this way, edge this one, don't match this one. That way this part only still remain, we're gonna utilize. So without the measure, without the use ruler, ruler, you still can use it. So what I like to do is I'm gonna cut. The center here, cut to the scissor bravely. So when I do that, I'm gonna right here. So I'm gonna scissor this way without without use any ruler. Sometimes the ruler doesn't work, so you can keep cut the straight. See, nice cut, much clean. Haja, so. Through this one. So do you have a perfect edge right here. Good, right? See? Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Okay, so either you can utilize the other side, either rough this way, kind of looks good, and the other side as well. So um, I like white, it's kind of neat. So this one going to be beautiful, simple uh, handbag. So what I like to do is this one now. Uh, when you do the handbag, you think about the folding. So either uh, something very simple, I'm going to cut up, you know, fold it right here. Right here, right? And you make it very, uh, you know, the fold it. Either use a uh, scissor bag like that, right? Okay, very good. So simply hand the bag now. So you can see the fold it right here. Now, uh, Either you can keep the longer or one more layer. So this way you can have a two kind of way to adjusting another folder like that, so making style. Okay, good. So this way you may use this folder this way, right? Or you can put this way. It depends on how you uh, you know use utilize uh, the back side. You can folder this side and bigger, and you can go a little more uh, crossover. That's an idea. Now, uh, you, may, you have to make a button. Either you can buy a button or you can use it from the strings. So how I like, I like to utilize these shoe strings. Okay, shoe strings is very interesting to see. Now, how are you gonna make a hole this one? Uh, first of all, I will use a, a rough the, okay, knife. Knife is very good because it's, this is a plastic, so I'm gonna use this one knife. Lend them open, right? Open. Okay, now you can see straight. Good. Now, uh, either you like this one or a green one. It's sort of a uh, nice green here, so what I like to do, uh, twist. If it doesn't work, just cut the edge. Like, cut the edge like that, now it can go through. If it doesn't go through, push it with a pin. Something like that, pin, boy. Okay, doesn't go through. You have a ball pen or something sharp, just go through it. I'm gonna use a scissor very bravely. Okay, okay, that's it. Okay, see like this? Now, so when you go th see through it, don't leave it, that's we make a knot here. Ending, right, end. And like that. So that's the way it keeps another one, one more time. Like that, right now. Uh, so uh, this is interesting. Once you go through here, we can go another side as well. So let me see. Either you can, you can go. Let me see. Uh, keep this one away, and then you can tie it up. Uh, my case, you do this one. Let me see. Two finger, one, two, like that, right? And when you come up to the here, you can make a little, look, look, as, look a little bit like a ribbon looks like, then turn around, tie it up. That's another way to do. Okay, now, and this kind of edge is important. So inside, bring inside, tie it up. Okay. This one is one way to making nice ribbon tight. Okay, see, 
this way. See, look at this one. When you, as you pull this one, you can have a knot here, right? Good. So look at that. Okay, now either. So now another one. This is another idea that it depends on how you going to the um, large size. The back size will be different. So what I like to do is this one. Now let's go to open here. The line I made here, cut, very simply cut, 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 and then see through it, go through inside. Okay, turning around, tie it up, okay. Okay, you can push it into the with a uh, finger or a uh, pen. So look at this one. So now, as you see, either you can Pull, you can have a little fun, nice, very charming uh, bag. Or you can you loosen up, you can have another size of a bag. For instance, like that. Then you can keep, keep this one like this. And then turning over. Okay, very simple. That's it. Okay, then you can have a little nice button. So this is one simple, already, you know, the folder for the uh, document. All you have to sew here though, either you can use uh, very interesting, this kind of plastic, uh, you know, needle like that. Or you just, you know, go to simply, um, you know, like tie it up. For instance, I'm going to use this one again here. I'm gonna make a very simple casual, you know, like, uh, let's see. Be careful the knife though. I will use very bravely. Okay, like this. So this kind of material is hard to adjust. So don't worry about the sewing, uh, taking, uh, take your time, too much time. So I will just go for the like this, making scar, right? And go to another side as well. Just, this one is very interesting material to play with. So go like that. Uh -huh. Okay. Like this. So this kind of way you can go stitch again and again. Either you can tie it up here. You can either tie it up. It's very pretty actually, tie it up. Right? Right? And then also you can go another side here, like that. Like almost a book binding style. Then go here again. A simple way to making handbag. Very useful, like that. So, okay. So, how's that? Okay, now. So, tie it up again. So, this way, this is more like a stylish, like a, a could be very stylish, carrying, uh, you know, some book uh, for the book or certain things like, uh, you know, hold it tight. That is a style. See, all about a uh, little bit of strings and this uh, shoe string make a nice, you know, um, holder, uh, book holder or handbag. So now, another thing, okay.